the hormones necessary for establishment and maintenance of pregnancy in mare. So let us see what are the hormones and the necessary structure for the establishment and maintenance of pregnancy. So here we will discuss uh, the hormone progesterone and PMSG pregnant mare serum gonadotrophin which is also used as a pregnancy marker and endometrial cuff structure which produce the PMSG then additional corpus luteum rule of placenta then regression of the corpus luteum so all the domestic animals they need uh, progesterone uh, corpus luteum as a source for progesterone production so almost all the domestic animals in, in early uh, period of pregnancy early life or pregnancy but mare uh, they after 100 days of pregnancy they need not depend upon the corpus luteum for progesterone source because placenta can able to produce the sufficient amount of progesterone uh, for the maintenance of pregnancy so after 100 days in mare they depend upon the placenta for rest of the pregnancy period so in this lecture lecture we will see from pregnancy to the 100 days uh, what are the events occur in the mare for the establishment and the maintenance of pregnancy so mare they produce the additional corpus luteum so this additional corpus luteum are produced by the secretory product of trophoblast cell trophoblast cell is the uh, cell from the embryo and this trophoblast cell initially they form a band on placenta then these cells trophoblast cell they detach approximately on day 35 and they penetrate to the endometrium of the mare they penetrate and after penetration this trophoblast cell they form the association of cell within the endometrium and they form a structure and this structure is called endometrial calves endometrial calves here is nothing but the association of trophoblast cell and this endometrial calf within the endometrium they start producing equine chorionic gonadotrophin also known as pregnant mare serum gonadotrophin so on the day 35 it penetrates the endometrium they form this endometrial calf and they start producing the equine chorionic gonadotrophin so when these hormones are in the circulation they act upon the follicle and they stimulate the growth of the follicle and they act upon the growing follicle and they cause ovulation and they cause luteinization of the cells and therefore resulted formation of additional corpus luteum and the pmsg cause a luteinization of the follicle some of the follicle which may be failed to ovulate but those follicles are luteinized to form the uh, progesterone. So PMSD, importantly, they luteinize the cell. Also, they produce, uh, they cause ovulation, formation of additional corpus luteum. So they form additional corpus luteum. Why this is additional corpus luteum is necessary, we, uh, it is not properly known because it is already the mare already have the primary corpus luteum at the time of ovulation so it is believed that this additional corpus luteum is necessary to ensure sufficient and adequate production of progesterone for the maintenance of pregnancy so progesterone is also known as uh, hormones of pregnancy pregnancy hormone so it is uh, the the mare it is ensuring that there is sufficient supply of progesterone for establishment of the pregnancy. An early pregnancy a diagnostic marker. So PMSG, they are purely secreted from the embryo cell. That is trophoblast, which is from the embryo. So these cells are secreting the PMSG. So and when the PMSGs are secreted and goes to the uh, maternal circulation and estimation the PMSG 
it gives the certainty of pregnancy. When there is embryo penetration in the uterus, PMSG will form by endometrial calf and when you estimate in the maternal blood, it is very confirmed that it is a, the, horse, the horse is pregnant. So the placenta become the main source of progesterone. So initially at the time of development, the uh, placenta which produce the progesterone, it may not be very sufficient, very little amount of progesterone. Therefore, the horse required the additional corpus luteum or the primary corpus luteum. They depend upon uh, those structures, corpus luteum for progesterone source. But it has been seen that after 100 days of pregnancy, approximately, the corpus luteum able to produce sufficient amount of progesterone for the maintenance of pregnancy. Therefore, so after 100 days, the mare need not depend upon the corpus luteum, nor they depend upon the endometrial calf for additional uh, corpus luteum and the primary corpus luteum for progesterone production. And uh, this destruction of endometrial calf within the uh, endometrium, how it is occurred? So endo these endometrial calves are made up of trophoblast cell, which is a foreign body in the maternal endometrium. And uh, therefore, the leukocyte from the maternal side, they will gather, aggregate around the endometrial calf because it is a foreign body. And this uh, endometrial calf or leukocyte, uh, they surround the endometrial calf and they cause destruction of the endometrial calf. When the endometrial calves are destroyed, there will not be, there will not be a production of PMSG. So the, when this uh, structure, this endometrial calves are disappeared or destroyed, uh, approximately pregnancy, this structure is completely disappeared. And uh, when it is disappeared, because there is no production of PMSD, no luteinization, no maintenance of corpus luteum. So those corpus luteum additional or the primary, secondary or the primary, they will undergo regression. So after 50 days, all this primary corpus luteum in the ovary will uh, regress. So PMSG act as a luteinizing hormone in mare, and this uh, because it, uh, it because it uh, luteinizes uh, because it luteinizes the uh, cells and able to form the corpus luteum, and that uh, that form the uh, source of main source of corpus luteum after uh, during from pregnancy to 100 days of uh, 100 days of pregnancy so what we have learned primary corpus luteum at the time of ovulation the corpus luteum which is formed at the time of ovulation they have produced the progesterone and uh, which is a, a pregnancy hormone and helps for the embryo uh, no, for that uh, establishment and next, when the endometrial cups are formed, they stimulate, they form the PMSG. And due to the stimulatory action of PMSG, they stimulate the production of uh, corpus luteum, additional corpus luteum. And these two structure, primary and secondary structure, become the main source for the uh, progesterone uh, during the early life of pregnancy in mare. So, when the placenta able to form the sufficient amount of progesterone, then rest of the pregnancy, the mare depend upon the placenta for progesterone source. So, but after 100 days, the placenta can able to produce sufficient amount to maintain the pregnancy rest of the life of pregnancy period. And this is what uh, occurs in the mare in early and the rest of the pregnancy period and the hormone influence their development or establishment and maintenance of pregnancy okay thank you